Happy Wednesday, Saints. Welcome back to the Halo Morning Show. We're coming to you live from the Halo Newsroom. With your news and your stories. The third annual Gina Russolo CYO basketball tournament was held Sunday evening in the Ox Gym. On the girls' court, the Air Ballers finished in the S off the STA Softs in back-to-back -back overtime games. Abby Siebel dominated the defensive glass and sent her teammates off and running. Olivia White was a standout for the Softs. Referee Molly Hartnett was impressed with what she called a very unique style of basketball. Senior Kate Davidson said of her team, Jackson Mahomes, who lost both games, we really, we just really had a hard time scoring. Marika Davis nodded her agreement. The event attracted quite a crowd estimated by scorekeeper and artist Timmy Akimwinton as a pretty good number. Thanks to Stugo for a great evening, good times were had by all. Anyone interested in trying out for boys golf needs to meet in room 102 Thursday after school from 3 o'clock to 3.20. Here's a short video. There will be a Teens for Life meeting tomorrow in room 206 at 10.30. There will be treats and a gift card drawing. Your boys basketball team lost a tough road matchup against Rockers in Tuesday 51-42. After being down 14 at half, the Saints cut to deflect up to three points late in the game but couldn't quite get over the hump. Thank you to all of the fans that attended the game. Let's fill the stands this Friday at home for a boy-girl doubleheader against Blue Valley West. And here are sources of strength with some news. Hey Saints, I'm Jackson. And I'm Allie, and we're members of Sources of Strength. Today is the third Wednesday of our February Friendship Campaign. This means we have more students and teachers to recognize for their positivity. That's right, so without further ado, today's winner is Katie Berkmeyer. Katie always makes others laugh and keeps life joyful. She never turns down the opportunity to say hello to others and talks to everyone in an effort to, make, to have everyone involved. Congratulations, <laughs> Katie, and please continue to spread your positivity throughout the school. That reminds me, we have our Instagram to keep fellow students informed about our campaign. Oh yeah, that's right. Our Instagram's username is sos.aquinas, and we post inspiring quotes every day for February, in which we call it 29 Days of Love, so make sure to check that out. Along with 29 Days of Love, we plan to put pictures of you guys in a display. So if you're interested, please email artsourceofstrength at gmail.com with pictures of you and your friends. There are posters in the stairwells and hallways that include all the information you will need to know about our campaign and how to stay involved, so make sure to give that a look. Upcoming college visits today, University of Missouri, tomorrow, John Lee College. As always, sign up on Navian students to visit with colleges. The registration deadline for the April ACT is February 28th. On Saturday, the Scholars Bowl team wrapped up its season in a spectacular fashion. The team competed in the 5A state tournament at Seaman High School for nine rounds of tough questions. After defeating the reigning champs, St. James, in an early round, Aquinas lost to the Thunder in a close semifinal match. Aquinas ended the day in fourth place, finished at the St. Scholars Bowl tournament. Congratulations to the whole Scholars Bowls team, and especially the students that represented Aquinas at the state tournament. Gabby Warrender, Michael Cluck, Jack Resplay, Blake Ar Arcia, Warren Lay, and Mia Cecil. You might not have noticed a crime scene in the commons near the theater, but don't panic. We'll find the murder murderer this weekend. Was it Miss Scarlet, Professor Plum, Miss White, perhaps? Join the audience of Clue on stage Thursday through Saturday night in the theater at 7 o'clock. Tickets are on only $7, and the show is hilarious. The saint of the day is St. Conrad of Pacenza. St. Conrad offers a different slant of holiness. Married, he and his wife opted to live separate lives. She as a poor Claire and he as a Francescan hermit. All this after he set a fire which was, was spread by the wind and destroyed the nearby fields, forests, and town. 
Today's fun fact of the day is brought to you by the French Club, who will be selling crepe, crepes during lunch tomorrow for $1. Did you know that France stretches over 12 different time zones since it travels, since its territories all over the world? Wow, I did not know that. Thanks for watching today's show. I'm Greta. And I'm Allie, signing, signing off. off. And remember, stay classy, Saints. And make this day count.